it's very difficult, uh, you know, looking back to history, to to see inflation coming down without a slowdown in the economy and sometimes even a recession. So, I think it had to be expected. Um, now, of course, some people are still hoping on a soft landing. Um, I think this is, is really difficult to forecast because inflation pressures are still there. Uh, we see oil prices coming up, gas prices. So when will inflation go to 2%? I think that's a big unknown. And therefore, the forecast of interest rates is very difficult. So we have uh, that aspect, you know, slow down of the economy. The other is um, growing fiscal deficits uh, and debt going up everywhere, including in the U.S with problems of liquidity in the markets. Um, so these are a combination of factors which uh, need to, you know, for us it's more important to be very, very uh, careful in assessing risk mm -hmm. and making the right decisions, I think. Um, the banking system is well capitalized, so. A lot uh, there to digest. Let's focus on the soft lending for a moment. Um, you're saying that it's perhaps a bit too early to figure out what whether that's likely. But with the data that we have at this stage, do you think that the U.S. economy is on track to achieve a soft landing? I, I, I really don't know. It's very difficult. I think that, um, you know, looking at full employment, how can inflation come down with full employment? I know that's, uh, it's, maybe it's a test of, uh, you know, uh, economics uh, models. But uh, in order to reduce inflation, typically we have to, to reduce uh, uh, employment to reduce wage pressures. So it, it could be a, a coincidence, but I, I think we, we should look forward. We should not be surprised if we have a slowdown also in the U.S. economy in 2024. Let's unpack a little bit the dynamics of the U.S. economy at this stage, because a lot of political uncertainty there, huge uncertainty when it comes to the U.S. fiscal position going forward. Earlier this year, Fitch, however, warned about the fiscal trajectory of the United States, but the markets didn't seem to pay attention. Do you think the markets were wrong to ignore the uh, comments from Fitch? Well, you know, markets take time to elaborate, uh, understand the data. If I look at the IMF projections, uh, the debt to GDP ratio in the US is getting close to 140% of GDP uh, before the end of this decade. So it's kind of a worrying, it's the level of Italy more or less. Now, of course, you have the dollar, you have the status of uh, reserve currency but uh, you can't you can't really look at that uh, with uh, with, uh, with with just just ignoring it and 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 saying all will be fine i think uh, the dollar is a reserve currency i don't think it will be modified mm. there will be appetite for us treasuries but still the interest rate may go up and so the the burden of interest on the debt is going up in the U.S. The question is, uh, will um, American citizens be willing to pay higher taxes for the debt? I think this is a question mark that many other countries are facing. Yes. Um, thinking about my own, but um, mm. um, Europe is, is more uh, used to that. Yeah. In the U.S. they are not. And so I think they're playing with fire uh, uh, a little bit. Um, I would like to warn <laughs> the U.S. Treasury to be very careful. Let's bring it back to Europe then, because it's also a very interest, uh, interesting economic dynamic at this stage. It seems though from comments that we've gathered from uh, ECB members so far this week that the ECB is on track to hit pause at the next meeting. What does that mean for banks that have so far benefited from the higher interest rates? Well, first it takes time for, because you know, when rates go up, it. Especially if you if you have fixed rate mortgages, for instance, you know you you, you don't immediately import the benefits. It mm -hmm. takes time. So I, I think what what is important is that um, the ECB does what what is necessary to reduce inflation, so that after the adjustment rates can can come down. I think this would benefit the economy ultimately. Um, I think banks. Uh, uh, Make make uh, are, are making profits when the yield curve is is, is positive. So long term rates are higher than uh, short term rates. Now we are getting to a situation where maybe uh, long term rates are lower mm -hmm. than, than than short rates. So this is not necessarily something very good if it continues for a long time. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersacci, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.